Tomo News presents Elon Musk and Tesla. Three, two, one, blast off. SpaceX is all set to launch the world's most powerful rocket into deep space, and with it, a most unusual cargo, Elon Musk's own car. The Falcon Heavy rocket features three Falcon 9 engine cores that are powered by 27 Merlin engines. Instead of concrete or steel blocks that act as mass simulators, the rocket's payload will be a red Tesla Roadster. The Falcon Heavy is designed to get large payloads into space and opens up the possibility of sending manned missions to the moon or Mars. The powerful vehicle has 2,500 tons of thrust on liftoff, equal to 18 Boeing 747s at full throttle. Its maiden flight is scheduled for late January. A lot of risk is associated with the rocket, which could blow up on ascent. If successful, the Tesla Roadster will be sent into Mars orbit, where it will remain for a billion years. On top of this, SpaceX is also aiming to land and recover all three of the heavy's first stage cores. Meanwhile, on Monday, the Dow Jones reported that lawmakers have been informed about the apparent destruction of a secretive payload, codenamed Zuma, after being taken into space on a recent SpaceX launch. The payload reportedly may have burned up in the atmosphere after failing to separate correctly from the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. Tesla to launch batteries that can power entire homes. American company Tesla is developing a battery that can power homes with stored solar energy so that users do not need to draw power from the electrical grid. Tesla's home battery charges during the daytime when solar power is plentiful. Homeowners can use the energy stored in the battery and do not need to draw power from the electrical grid during peak hours. Users may then switch back to the electrical grid during off-peak hours when electric rates are cheaper. In a pilot project, a 10 kilowatt hour battery pack is being used that can power homes for about two days in the case of a power outage. The project, run by SolarCity, a company co-chaired by Tesla chief executive Elon Musk, covers 500 homes in California. Musk said the design of the battery will likely be presented to the public in the following months. Production could just be six months away. Tesla Model X car drives the driver to the hospital. Tesla's much maligned autopilot function is in the news again, this time for a positive reason, after it saved the life of one driver. 37-year-old attorney Joshua Neely was driving his Tesla Model X from Springfield, Missouri to Branson Tuesday afternoon. Neely wanted to be home early for his four-year-old daughter's birthday, but he experienced a stabbing pain in his chest caused by a pulmonary embolism. Still in pain, Neely decided to use his car's autopilot function to take him to the hospital. Neely parked the vehicle in the car park and checked himself into the emergency room. He was promptly treated by medical staff and was able to return home later that evening. A pulmonary embolism is a potentially fatal obstruction of a blood vessel in the lungs. Tesla's autopilot function is in dire need of good news after two recent mishaps. In May, a Tesla driver in Florida died when neither he nor the car's autopilot was able to detect a truck in its path. And last month, a Tesla Model X driving on autopilot swerved and hit wooden rails on a road in Montana. Would you entrust your life to a vehicle? Space Tesla might just hit us where it hurts. Scientists hyperventilating about Elon Musk's Tesla crashing into Mars and contaminating the surface can breathe a sigh of relief. But while it won't hit the red planet, there is a teeny tiny chance it will hit us. SpaceX's Falcon Heavy rocket recently launched a red Tesla Roadster into orbit toward Mars. According to a new study predicting the car's future path, the Roadster will be roughly one lunar distance away from the planet in 2091. Over the next million years, it then has a 2.5% chance of hitting Venus and a 6% chance of crashing into Earth. But if it does come crashing into the planet, it will likely burn up in the Earth's atmosphere before reaching the surface. It's also not expected to pose any kind of risk to health and safety, so sit back, relax, and don't panic. Elon Musk called out by Vice for following zero women on Twitter. Despite focusing his efforts on revolutionizing transport and colonizing Mars, every now and then tech mogul Elon Musk is forced to deal with the distractions caused by PC journalists who have an axe to grind here on Earth. On October 4th, the visionary was called out by Vice Tech subsidiary Motherboard for not following any women on his Twitter account. Musk follows 56 accounts, 21 of which are male users, while the rest are brands or publications. 
In response to Motherboard's tweet publicizing its findings, Musk defended himself by saying he uses Twitter for news. He follows the sexes equally on Instagram. That's unlikely to stop the barrage of comments labeling him a sexist. From those who find correlations between how many men he follows and the lack of women in the tech sector. Other tech giants should probably have their guard up. Apple CEO Tim Cook only follows four women and Bill Gates follows 12. This is a lot like when rocket scientist Matt Taylor, who just helped the European Space Agency land a spacecraft on a comet, was called out for wearing a bowling shirt adorned with scantily clad cartoon women. Shortly after the article came out, Elon Musk went ahead and started following Katie Weaver of GQ magazine. Now, back to changing the world and advancing the species. Tesla's new software protects kids and pets from overheating to death. Electric car giant Tesla has released a new software update that has changed the user interface, upgraded the autopilot system, and most noticeably added a new function called cabin overheat protection. Tesla's cabin overheat protection system is designed to protect children and pets inside cars from overheating deaths. When a Tesla car detects that the interior of the vehicle has reached up to 105 degrees Fahrenheit, the vents and air conditioning system will automatically turn on to lower the temperature inside the car. According to Tesla's CEO Elon Musk, the update will allow drivers to program the newly added function with maximum and minimum temperature settings. Uber says it would buy all of Tesla's self-driving cars. Rideshare company Uber is growing and wants to expand by incorporating self-driving cars into its business. Electric car company Tesla is working on producing cars that drive themselves. If you put these two companies together, you might just have the next step in transportation. Tesla CEO Elon Musk said they plan to produce 500,000 autonomous vehicles by the year 2020. And Uber CEO Travis Kalanick has said they would buy up every last one of them if Tesla is willing. So in the next five to 10 years, Uber could change the game of vehicle ownership. According to statistics from PricewaterhouseCoopers, there are about 254 million passenger vehicles owned in the US. If people relied on Uber to pick them up in a driverless car, that number could drop to 2.4 million. This paradigm shift would be much more efficient, saving countless amounts of wasted time that cars spend sitting in the garage. It would also make the roads a lot safer, with estimates of driverless cars showing a drop from 10.8 million accidents a year to just 1.1 million. Forget flying cars. If we all end up sharing autonomous vehicles, it could change everything we know about owning and driving cars in the future. Power up, mate. After building the world's largest battery in the outback a year ago, Elon Musk is at it again with the Aussies for a new electrifying project. The South Australia government will be installing rooftop solar panel systems and Tesla Powerwall 2 batteries in 50,000 residential homes over the next four years. The equipment generate power and provide electricity for each home, while collectively forming a virtual power plant with a 250 megawatt capacity. Any excess energy will feed into the main power grid to be used to supply electricity to other homes or during an emergency. Participants will still need to pay for any electricity they use, but will save 30% on their electric bill. Their homes will also be protected from blackouts. The first trial for the project is currently ongoing, with systems being installed at housing trust homes first before being offered to other South Australian households. Tesla targeted by cryptojackers. Researchers at a cloud monitoring firm discovered that cyber criminals had accessed Tesla's account and were using it to mine cryptocurrency. Unidentified hackers accessed an unprotected Kubernetes console owned by Tesla and obtained login credentials to the company's Amazon Web Services cloud. They gained entry to the account using the login credentials in the process exposing sensitive data stored inside about Tesla's test cars. The hackers then installed crypto mining software which ran scripts that allowed them to mine cryptocurrency. In order to avoid detection, the intruders deliberately reduced CPU usage and masked their IP addresses. Redlock, the firm that discovered the breach, notified Tesla of the breach on January 30th. Tesla has since resolved the issue and reportedly found no indication that customer privacy or vehicle safety and security were compromised. That's gotta hurt a bit. Tesla voluntarily issued its largest recall ever of 123,000 Model S sedans worldwide, built before April 2016, in order to replace bolts in the power steering component. 
It informed customers over email it was a proactive move and that there were no accidents or injuries related to the issue. Bolts in the power steering component can start to corrode after contact with certain types of road salt in colder climates, particularly calcium or magnesium road salts. Tesla said that if the bolts failed, drivers would still be able to steer the vehicle. They would just have to use more force due to loss or reduction of power assist. According to Tesla, the retrofit takes about an hour. The company said it would inform owners once the retrofit is available in their area.